the Cornell High Energy Synchrotron Source. Its main mission is to provide uh, high energy x-ray facilities for researchers from around the world to literally study problems that you can't solve any other way. Chess, you should think of it as a very bright x-ray light bulb. The ability of x-rays to high energy x-rays to penetrate through samples yet still give you information on length scales of atoms is really our niche. Several things about chess make us unique. One is uh, our, our facility, the source. Ours that is a high energy synchrotron, we're really optimized to produce these high energy x-rays and there are only five similar machines in the world, two in the United States, but also our location on the central campus of a university rather than at a national laboratory around the world. As such, we are tightly integrated with the university in terms of having a degree program in accelerator physics. Both graduate students and undergraduates uh, performing experiments and analyzing data on the particle accelerator. On the chess side, uh, we put a lot of focus on uh, having flexibility in our setup. We are able to try a lot of different techniques and new methods that may not be accessible elsewhere. Remote access is something that's happening more and more at various facilities around the world. And what it means is that uh, a scientist can send their samples to the facility and then uh, in the comfort of their own laboratory, they can log on to the computer and they can control the experiment. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful saver in terms of not having to fly out to a facility. And it's something that we're supporting. We've done it in crystallography for a number of years now. For example, uh, we have a course that's, that's taught by a professor at another institution and his students can actually log on. They don't have to fly here. They can log on to computer and run overnight and, and learn how to do the crystallography. One of our new initiatives is uh, high pressure biology. We can use uh, structural biology techniques at pressures equivalent and deeper than the ocean bottom. We're probably the only place in the hemisphere that can do high pressure biosacs. We can do small angle scattering of biological molecules, not just at ocean pressures, but we can do them up to 6,000 times atmospheric pressure. So we can watch things happen uh, that are very hard to see in other ways. CHESS is among a few facilities in the world uh, that utilizes hard x-rays uh, for advancing studies in fundamental, fundamental studies in different disciplines, including plant sciences. My lab uh, studies mineral nutrient transport uh, and its regulation. So we are particularly interested in essential elements such as copper and iron and a toxic element cadmium because um, of the role of these elements in the future food security and human health. We collaborate with CHESS to understand how a micronutrient copper um, affects plant fertility, and fertility of plants actually translates to yield. The new lab is what we call CHESS U, it's the upgrade to CHESS. We just finished installing a very large upgrade to the storage ring. Uh, this is the largest overhaul of the storage ring in its 40 year history. And what we've done is we have replaced one-sixth of the storage ring through the user area for chess. What this gets you is it allows us to go from two counter-rotating beams to a single on-axis beam. So as a result, this upgrade will allow us to increase the brightness of the x-rays for some of our users by up to a thousandfold. The other thing we've done is we completely rebuilt the experimental floor. So Historically, we had relatively small, compared to our competition, experimental rooms. Now they're much larger than before, or which allows us to have uh, more room for our focusing optics. The upgrade has literally transformed us. At CHESS, uh, postdocs and students get hands-on experience. Uh, they actually get to come behind the scenes at the beam line and during your experiment you get to set up your experiment. This way you can actually develop detectors or you can develop instrumentation that can go within the beam line. So it gives you uh, the experience to be at the beam line so that you can actually contribute to the beam line. We're at the beginning of a, an entirely new phase of the lab. Uh, where it, it, we've re-established our source as a really world-leading facility. Okay? And now with the new X-ray facilities to complement the source, it's hard to say where we'll go, but it's gonna be really exciting. I can't wait to get there.